Um, Thinks uh, nothing will kill it. Production day, vlog, whatever. Again, we need a dead cat. Uh, a dead cat? <laughs> is, sorry. A dead cat is a windsock, like that free microphone thing that you guys see in like other people's stuff. That's what it's called, a uh, dead cat. So the thing is, we need one, and we were looking one for specifically for the road mic. And there are like a hundred or two hundred dollars for this thing. So I'm just going to make one. Well, one interesting thing that I read was that you could dry out a condom and just like, uh, I guess take you know, and just roll it on the actual mic, and it works like just as good as a as a windsock basin. And I was like, wow, that's. We're not gonna do that. So sometimes you gotta make. I am not a good crafts person. I looked up like how to make this, and it seemed fairly simple enough. So I think I could do it. Yeah, you typically don't make anything. You tell us like, "Hey, I'm gonna buy this," and I'm just like, "We can make that." And you're just like, "Oh, okay." And then I give it to Angela. <laughs> and she makes and it. Then she makes it. Yeah, actually, guys, she does a lot of the props. Like since I don't know, I guess. This year, like a lot of the props that you see is like basically through her, you know, uh, she painting it or, or whatever. It's actually pretty awesome. You're creative on business. She disposes in all the little gaps that we have. Yeah. So, so we have a we have a pretty good pretty good team. All right. We are here at AC Moore. I guess that's like the only thing that we need, right? Or is there other things that we could possibly? I don't know. We always need shit. Always. Always need stuff. Actually, maybe we find some like, silly props. <laughs> oh God. So this probably will be. Oh, mom! I think I found it. it. This this vlog is probably gonna have like the best sound ever. I think this works. I think this absolutely works, mom. I think I found it. I have to like hold it like this though. I think I found it, dude. This might work, dude. I'm not. Are you really? That's probably in the shot. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. I mean, I'm sure it has to be like out here to not be in the shot, but I think. That thing right there? Foam sheets? Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this, this vlog would have like the best sound ever. I know, but yeah, this is it. So this is part of what we need. I thought, I thought this was where the fat. I thought this was where the fabric would be. I thought this was where the fabric would be. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we have an adapter for, for the GoPro for a microphone. It actually, um, we have this like little tiny microphone. But the thing is, I, I just thought about it. I could plug a road mic to this thing. I, I'm not really sure how good the sound is, but I think it'll be pretty awesome. The best sound. You look so Love. extra. I look so extra. Longer. Right? Dude, I should have like that rig. The GoPro is like, what, like three inches by two inches, and the road mic is like The mic is six. Wait, where's the source of fabric? Why, how is this place set up? They don't have fabric. What? I feel like they don't have fabric here. I don't know. I don't see it. It's like it's like doom. It's like basically like you see like the microphone pointed to where it's supposed to be. You must capture the sound. <laughs> must capture the sound. <laughs> so, I think we found it. Yeah, I think this is it. I think this will be it. Hey guys. So. Hey. Here with here with my my parents and like mom is here too as well. Hello. Today we're gonna stop by our mailbox. Hopefully we got a package from from Epic Armory. I think it's a our package. one of our official, I guess, off official sponsors for for like the web series. Hey. hey. So hopefully they have it because I want to play with it. And uh, yeah, should I have this on? Yeah. What if they don't have it? <laughs> then we'll just include it. All right. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Anything? <gasps> oh my god. Yes, we got our package. Wow. Is that is, is oh, that's is it, this is the first part. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. I I can't wait. I'm going to play with this thing. So thank you, Epic Armory. Hurry. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank. There we go. Are we good? Okay. Cool. Go ahead. Stop it. <laughs> if you miss <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why do you want to keep the bubble around? I want to play with it. You want to pop it? Yeah. Can I pop one? No. Pop it one. No. Oh. You have to play with the sword. Oh, cool. Okay, pause. They have a, they have a, they have a catalog. Oh. For stuff. Ooh. Epic, Epic Armory. Ooh. Three Musketeers. Why would we make an Asian version of Three Musketeers? That is. This is LARPing. 
Dude, this is sick, dude. That's awesome. Look at the quality on this. Like, the details? Yeah, I'm actually super surprised. Oh! No, okay, that's not. That's cool! <laughs> okay, that's one, weapon one. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna do some hero stuff. Nada. Right? Does that feel? Ah! <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. Yay. So this is the this is the Kingslayer. Dude, the blade looks dope on me. Like, yeah. This is the oh, this is the King's Glaive. Dang. Oh. So this is the King's Glaive. I like that one. Well, it's like the Sentinel Spear. But this is gonna be his weapon. Right? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Wait, that what? makes sense. Wait. Oh! Okay, ready? Like, really go for it. Alright. One, okay. two, three. Wow! No dead. Nothing. Epic armory. I don't know. No, no. What? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm pretty sure by now, when this video comes out, you guys probably would have heard of our uh, web series that we're calling Forgotten Kingdom, right? So that's why, um, as you can see, it's a very, very big undertaking on our part. So please check out our Indiegogo for stuff because, like, even um, I'm sure right now we're still gonna be needing a few things, you know, equipment-wise, and you know, for our actors and all that other stuff because this is our very, it's our first very, very, very big project on the channel and we want to make this like the most awesome representation of what we can do right now for you guys so please check us out and i you know thank you for epic armory for believing in us really that we're gonna go ahead with this project and hopefully you guys enjoy it so okay let's go joey is sleeping and we're gonna go and run some errands, yep. like pre-production stuff. So we'll take a nap later, maybe. <laughs> no, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But we're just gonna leave him sleeping. Mom, where are we? We're at Party City again. Last time I was here with Joey, and now I'm here with Angela. Move. Gonna pick up some stuff. I look ridiculous. So drop pouches are amazing for productions, and just for going out and doing some shopping. You know, it's your next date accessory. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So colorful and pretty. I kind of. This is somewhat satisfying. Inside of a unicorn. <laughs> Tested. Oh. I don't know why that came off really graphic in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I was like in poop for rainbows. You gonna see this rainbow inside too? Yeah, but it felt. I almost felt like it turned into like a Five Nights at Freddy horror film uh -huh. the, of the inside of a unicorn kind of thing for whatever reason. That looks kind well, of. The only thing is, it's not the um, the chainmail. Uh, it's only the vest. vest. But I think the vest will work pretty well, anyways. Yep. Um. So if they bring like. Actually, I don't think they should wear a shirt, like a long sleeve shirt. They don't have to. It is to. way too hot. Outside. Way too hot. They don't have to. I don't think so. so but the chain melt does add something. Um, yeah. So let's get two of these. Hey, is there only two left? No, there's three. Oh, we got lucky. Yeah, and this is thirty dollars. Oh snap! I look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for war. Oh jeez. <laughs> So part of pre-production is like going out on errands and buying like a lot of stuff. <laughs> so you have to like kind of like schedule the day where we have to pick up certain things before certain film days so we know that like we're prepared. We buy things in advance just in case. Hey guys, okay so while Joey is editing, Angela and I, we are going to be setting up the costumes. 
that are needed for the next couple days. Another key point always. Sharif has a bigger out, chest than mine. Always test out the wardrobe. You look like a like a freaking deer with your hands off like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's crowding! He's crowding! <laughs> God, stop! I'm trying to breathe! No, I know that, but Andrew. You don't want me to breathe? No. You want me to stop breathing? I tell you, stop. Oh. The white walk is right at the door. <laughs> I think that looks really cool. So what are you doing? I am cooking for extras and wonderful people. So we got a spaghetti over uh -huh. here with some ground beef and some prego sauce and some freshly made noodles and stuff like that. So cool. Basically cooking that for Saturdays. Uh, wonderful shoot. So I think we're expecting almost around like 50 people. Maybe yes, more. 20 people. 20 people? Yeah. So like I've been on productions where um, I don't know. They just don't feed us. And even though like we have people coming and they could probably leave around lunchtime anyways, I'd feel a lot more comfortable actually feeding them before they go because, I mean, it's really hot tomorrow. And the last thing I would want to happen is somebody like passes out. So we would rather have food. Um, we also have like a fruit tray as well as a vegetable tray. Yeah, vegetable tray. Vegetable tray. Like celery and carrots and stuff. Yeah, and then we also have like lots of water and Gatorade. Soda, um, <laughs> what, Fago? well, Fago. It's, it, <laughs> it's non like it's like low branded soda. We can only afford so much, guys. <laughs> and we have uh, chewy bars and chips. So we're trying to get as much as we can just to help like feed everyone because it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. And the least we can do is like feed everyone. Hey guys. Uh, so this part, uh, so we're actually working on the Forgotten Kingdom Indiegogo. If you guys been part of the channel before, you guys know that we did have an Indiegogo before for Forgotten Kingdom way before. And obviously, um, we didn't reach the goal. I was thinking I was asking for like 2700 to like actually get people back then. But this is way before, you know, having a team now with like, um, with Stefan and everybody. So we, well, I at that point didn't get to reach that goal. We did get to use that money to produce a few more things for the channel at that point in time. Plus, like the two um, prior screen tests, I guess you might say, for like two episodes for, for the whole series. So now we're revisiting again, and it's kind of four years now, five years, whatever. So now we're doing this again, and so now we're doing it for this version of Forgotten Kingdom. Before we even thought about Indiegogo, we actually have a plan with everything already. So I think for, for you, those of you guys that want to do the Indiegogo thing, you know, to fund your projects, you really have to think this out. Because, like, the first time um, for for the first Forgotten Kingdom and like Auntie, like we learned that there are a lot of problems that comes with um, crowdsourcing your project and especially the perks and, and like the rewards that you're gonna give. So definitely go into this thing having a good idea what you guys are giving and that doesn't impede your production you know, uh, as well. You're Now you're asking, instead of just one financier or producer, now you're like asking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, well, I mean, possibility of hundreds, you know. So, yeah, go into this with a plan, guys. Like, don't just make an indigo go out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Our, uh, our concept photo, it sucks. Yeah. Hopefully it's better than you guys actually see. Hey fam, as you can tell, we put a lot of effort into the Forgotten Kingdom web series and would really like your support. Please check out our Indiegogo along with the awesome perks we are offering. Also, the trailer for Forgotten Kingdom was released yesterday, so go watch it if you haven't done so already. Until next week, talk to you later fam. Bye!